Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics Class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this problem, a vertical cylinder 60 mm diameter is standing on its base. This is penetrated by another cylinder 44 mm diameter horizontally with its axis parallel to both planes. The axis of the horizontal cylinder is such that it is 6 mm away from the axis of the vertical cylinder. I repeat, a vertical cylinder is standing 60 mm diameter. It is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder 44 mm diameter. The axis of the horizontal cylinder does not cut the axis of the vertical cylinder, but they are 6 mm away. Now, I draw the plan elevation and the end view of the vertical cylinder. A, A1, B, B1, C, C1, D, D1 are the four physical boundaries of the cylinder. A dash, A1 dash and C dash, C1 dash become the boundaries in the elevation. B dash, B double dash, B1 double dash and D double dash, D1 double dash becomes the physical boundaries in the end view. Okay. Now, let us draw the penetrating cylinder 44 mm diameter. The distance is 6 mm. The gap distance between the two cylinders axis is 6 mm. So draw the circuit. 1 double dash, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, 4 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash, and 8 double dash. And mark them in the elevation. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. Mark them also in the plan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, as usual, locate the points where the horizontal cylinder generators cut the vertical cylinder on one side as P1, P2, P3, etc. and on the other side as Q1, to Q8. This is P1, P2, P3, P2 itself is P4, P1 itself is P5, P6, P7, P8 on one side, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8 on the other side. Now if you join them, if you join them, you can connect them by smooth curve. When you project them to the elevation, the projector through P1 will not come to this point but it will be a small distance to the right side because the projector through A will become A dash A1 dash. This P1 is small distance to the below. It is downwards and a little bit to the right side so that the projector through P1 will give you P1 dash small distance away and P5 dash small distance away. P1 dash P5 dash. Projector through P2 will give you somewhere here P2 dash as well as P4 dash. Projector through P3 will give you P3 dash. Projector through P6 and P8 will be slightly away P6 dash and P8 dash and projected through P7 will give you P7 dash. Similar argument when you project from this side this is Q1 dash, this is Q5 dash, projected through Q2 will give you Q2 dash, somewhere here is Q4 dash, this is uh, Q Q3 dash, this will be Q4 dash, this will be Q6 dash, sorry, Q6 dash, this will be Q7 dash and this will be Q8 dash. Now, the question is, is it sufficient? No, it is not sufficient. Why it is not sufficient? The vertical generator A double dash, A1 double dash, cut the surface of the horizontal cylinder at this point, which is visible here. One, the horizontal line through one dash is this. But this point lies a small distance below one dash, level of one dash. I call this M double dash and I call this N double dash. I call this also M1 double dash and N1 double dash. M double dash and N double dash on A double dash, A1 double dash and M1 double dash and N1 double dash on C double dash, C1 double dash. Agree? Agree? Draw horizontal lines through them. When you draw a horizontal line, it will be very close to this. 
you get a point here. This will be M dash, this will be N dash, this will be M1 dash, and this will be N1 dash. Now, A itself is M and N. This is M1, N1. Okay, when you connect them, form then dotted m dash p8 dash p7 dash p6 dash n dash p5 dash here This become dotted. This become dotted. If I show an enlarged view of this curve, if I show an enlarged view of this curve, it will look like this. For clarity, M dash, M dash, P one dash, P five dash, P three dash. I have shown it in an enlarged manner. P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, P4 dash, P5 dash, then dotted up to N dash, dotted up to M dash, and then again to P1 dash dotted. This is an enlarged view. In an examination, when an examiner is evaluating your answer script, he will check whether these two points are marked, and he will check whether those horizontal lines are marked to get these four additional points. You have to be extremely careful and show it very clearly. I hope you understand. Okay, now if you bring this slowly further, then if you bring this further and make this point touch this, what happens? Make this circle touch this, what happens? This curve touch each other. This firm curve touch each other. Agree? And if you move it further and bring this outside, what happens? The two curves will merge. That is what we are going to do in the next question. Okay? Thank you.